there is a pandemic in France. Oh my god. And it's not a virus. Okay, the good. <laughs> good, yes. So it's a pandemic of bed bugs. Ew. Ew. Yeah, it's disgusting. So That's um gross. if people don't know what bed bugs are, they're the little tiny bugs. They're like like kind of like ticks almost. Yeah. Or fleas. That's disgusting. And they live in the beds Legitimate. or like outside the beds or like I do, I do not like everywhere. <laughs> I do not like bugs. Not to the, not no hate mm-hmm. on the people who like bugs. I do not like bugs. Uh I don't think that's very many of people liking specifically bed bugs, but yeah. So, these bugs are everywhere. Hmm. I could see yeah. everywhere. I did hear it on the news that they they did have an infestation. Not have, they still have. Oh my god. It's okay. not it's not over yet. So, they're everywhere. Hospitals, movie theaters, trains, planes, hotels, um, Airbnbs, the streets. I don't know. Everywhere. I'd be in a, I'd be in a hazmat suit because I. Hazmat suit. It's so gross. To it is disgusting. Think about like they, like these bugs are where you sleep. Yeah, I mean, in other places, but still, it's gross. They're everywhere. Yeah. So like, no matter where you go in France, it seems like they will have some kind of bed bug somewhere. So this is terrible news because it, this started just before Paris Fashion Week. And Oh, um, my God. Yeah. Okay. So they speculated that um, these bed bugs showed up to Paris because, or to France in general, because of the amount of travelers that show up. No, so bed bugs travel via, um, like, luggage or on people or that type of stuff. So... They're thinking that it showed up and now has become so prevalent that this can't stop it. Yeah. Because these aren't your normal everyday bed bugs. Super bed bugs. Oh, these my God. are the super bed bugs. And the these ones are resistant to insecticide. That's scary. So these they, they don't get destroyed by poison. You have to like I think you have to get rid of them through um Methods that we'll talk about later. I'm smashing with the shoe. There's too many. Oh my god. <laughs> there are literally too many of these. Like it's disgusting. Like basically there's like a bunch of like imagine if someone like scattered a bunch of mini skittle or no mini um, small or like oh chia seeds. No, well chia seeds or the or like mini M and M's. Oh okay. Just throw them all over your bed and that's what it looks like. Oh my god. Um so Travelers have been using ulterior motives to test for these bed bugs. Okay. Can you guess one way to find bed bugs? One way to find bed bugs. Oh, uh, wearing a white shirt. Or. (laughs) That's already on you. Huh? (laughs) They're already on you. Yeah, they're already on me. Or just like white sheets or something like Mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So, yeah, one way is to to visually see them. So they'll be hiding in cracks and crevices. Um,. The other way that I saw was dogs. Dogs? So, yeah. So, okay. um, this tourist went and hired a bed bug sniffing dog. That's insane. To go to their man. Airbnb and sniff the whole place and see if it could find bed bugs in it. No, oh my. And God. you're not going to believe it. They it found did. bed bugs. Oh my god! I'm pretty sure. Okay, this is. Yeah. I'm. I'm getting into the 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 realm of uh, speculation here. S- seeing that if you brought a dog in and it sniffed for bed bugs, mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure if it's this prevalent, I'm pretty sure that dog could have gone into any house and been like, "There's bed bugs here." It, it seemed like there there this place didn't was fairly clean. Except in like one spot, and it like it found the bed bugs. Oh, that's interesting. So like it, it's so it's like any type of like sniffing dog, it'll go and then like sniff around, and then like stop where it smells the thing that it's looking for, and it it found the bed bugs. I wonder how much that dog's getting paid. I do wonder because <laughs> I wonder if it's like included with your Airbnb and like oh you know complimentary bed bug inspection before, prior to visit or something. Can you imagine some guy brings a dog and is like, hey, you know, I'll just be... He's outside. He's like... Oh. He's, he, yeah, there's a guy outside the door and and then the, the guy's like... Dude, oh, you... yeah, someone, he's working in there. He'll be he'll just be a minute. No, <laughs> could you imagine, like, who wouldn't, like, take that that um that extra thing? Like, someone's staying outside the hotel with their dog and it's like, this is a um 
a bed bug sniffing dog. Like you don't have to pay me. Um, but just know that you might have bed bugs unless I, I could find them for you. You might not see them, but that's this a dog crazy might... business model. That's a crazy hey. business model. That someone trained their dog to, to sniff out bed bugs. Yeah. I mean, it's not the craziest thing. I mean, it's pretty wild how, what dogs can do. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's a pretty big statistic of how many places have these bed bugs. What's the statistic? Do you know it? One in 10 French households have bed bugs. That's, uh, that's, that's a lot. That's Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. And I'm pretty sure the um, number of bed bugs has increased in like the places that are more touristy, like hotels, etc. Um, the streets of Paris are now um lined with a lot of like old furniture and and mattresses because they're throwing them out because they're full of bed bugs because you can't like this kill them at this point because they're the insecticides don't work yeah that's yeah they're you're gonna have to throw things away and mm-hmm. i wonder it's like how how else are you gonna have to play like, them yeah like vacuum suck them up um a bunch of things so i'll get into that after you consider hitting that subscribe button and hitting that like button, um, we have you know a lot of videos like this, and this would be interesting, yeah. Yeah, and we put out videos daily, and we have a library of over 200 videos. I'm pretty sure there's something in there that you will possibly like. Yeah, so the method that they've been saying is that if it's on your clothes, like once you um, leave your hotel, make sure to have your... Um, your bags and stuff above ground oh, so okay. not on the carpet because carpet can have bed bugs in it yes yes it could so bed bugs can be in carpet can be in any dark place so like the creases of a bed or linen or mm-hmm. pillows or basically anywhere that's dark and, and like cool make sure to check those out but make sure your bags are up off the ground and make sure to check all the crevices of your bag to make sure they're not there but if you are suspecting that your clothes and stuff have been, um, you know, has like bed bugs or like bed bug like eggs, I guess you would yeah. say, um, you'd have to go and put your clothes in a hot wash cycle or the hottest setting you could possibly get for your clothes to be washed yeah, safely and add detergent and that will kill the bed bugs. You know what? I did hear about this. Um, it's like if you're coming back from France, mm-hmm. uh, from Paris, um, the thing is you're supposed to, from what I heard, mm-hmm. buy a garbage bag, put your luggage in a garbage bag. Oh, interesting. And then immediately wash your clothes, like you mentioned, once you get home. Yeah. Just to make sure that nothing gets transferred in there. But they, I do remember um because this is really bad yeah and you don't want to you you do not want a home filled with bed bugs especially no. bed bugs that you cannot kill with insecticides yeah these bed bugs mean business so yeah. like um yeah because like as soon as this happens like these super bed bugs will go on to public transport you know like it, it will spread wildly it, so yeah, it's yeah. crazy. It's gross. It is <laughs> disgusting. It's super gross. So let us know down below. Are, is would this hamper your reason to visit Paris? Because I don't think the um the tickets to go to Paris or France has have gone down really. Yeah, I would not go. You, you wouldn't go. I do not like bugs, mm-hmm. and I do not like the fact that I might carry bed bugs back to my place. So that's disgusting. Yeah. So I would not go personally, but I think I if mean, it's the, it depends on how cheap the flights. are. Oh my God. I'm pretty sure if flights were halved, people would go. If it was yeah. were halved, people would go. Uh, but how if they're half, but you get bitten by bed bugs? Oh no. You no. know what? It's so gross. It's like, imagine this, this okay. is the very last thing. Um, imagine this, you go, you get to your hotel room, uh-huh. you look at the bed, you look at the floor, you don't see anything, right? You pull the bed, you pull the bed oh, covers, the sheets, yeah. you pull the sheets, bed bugs. You could see them clear as day on there. I would, <laughs> I would, I would be like, there's no, I'm 
Uh, well, I'm, I'm leaving request, today. I'm requesting I'm, a different room. And yeah. if you go to that room, it's the same thing. I'm pretty sure all the rooms there would be the same, but that's what I imagine. And I would book a ticket back home because that is really. I would not stay there. Well, yeah, you I'd probably go. I'd go to a different hotel. Yeah, I'd go to a different hotel. To be honest, well, I'm pretty sure they're all like that. Yeah, all the hotels. The crazy thing would be that, like, oh, I'm gonna sleep on the ground, and but then the ground is where the bed bugs are too. Oh my god, they're yeah. on the carpet. Unless it's like hardwood, but even then, the the bed bugs might be like at that point, hiding somewhere. You know, at that point, I would not even trust my luggage. I just, oh, you just burn it. I just yeah, just burn everything, everything. In, everything in the garbage, everything <laughs> in the garbage. But let Let's us start know. Let us know in the comments down below what you would do. <laughs>